Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail. In this episode, it looks like we're going to do a land battle. We have to do the Desert March. The plan for attacking Cyrenaica and the city of Derna starts with a long march from Alexandria to the west along, uh, along the caravan road of the North African coast. It's a very demanding and dangerous march for your army, mostly on a desert hard terrain. Fortunately, you'll have at your disposal local Mameluk mercenaries who know the route to Derna very well. We've also hired some Greek mercenaries, always useful with their fighting and rebellious spirit. Let's have a look. Alright, what do we have here? I can use several groups of infantry, by the looks of it. Uh, it's going to be my first land battle, which means I'll not be entirely... Uh, in my element, but let's see if I can manage. Uh, this is I basically got two land groups from what I gather. Uh, we're gonna have one of the troop ships on each side. I want the New Amsterdam over there, the United States over there, the Chesapeake there, and finally the Essex over there. Let's begin. Or so I thought. There we go. All right. We are marching for almost a month, suffering from the heat and the harsh terrain of the desert. Oh, good lord, that's a distance. Oof. Here is a good position to set up camp for the night. We must be cautious, though. Our scouts spotted movements to the south. All right. Our men are tired from the exhausted march. That's an exhausting march. But um, And the constant conflict between the Muslim Mamelukes and the Orthodox Greeks. Perhaps a battle could divert their sharpened spirits to the enemy. Holy crap, I got a lot of infantry units here. Uh, remind me why we're going on a stroll here again. What is the benefit? Because I, for one, don't really know. Anyway, we got the skirmishers. Uh, we got regular sailors over here. These are... Right... I hope I gave some of these guys the right weapons, because that is, again, far outside of my specialty, so I'll just have to, well, hope that this goes alright. For now, we're just gonna keep marching. And see if we run into anything. There has been a report, or several reports, on infantry or contacts from the south. So we'll see what happens. Everybody moves up. So many groups. This is going to be tough to manage. Oh, we're waiting to catch up. Okay, good. These are regular sailors. More sailors. If this would have been a strictly um, naval battle game, I would have probably been happier. Oh, 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 hold on. Hello, skirmishers. Could you not? What do we have here? Are these pirates, like Barbary pirates? Yeah, I want you over there, I want you over here, and I want you over there. I'm not sure where they're hoping to run to, because there's nothing here. I can set up a line like this, and I can hopefully entrap them there. They might have the high ground, for now. Set up a couple of lines here. Set you, you, and you up here. What the hell kind of a line is that? There. Sailors, open fire. These skirmishers, I'm not exactly sure what their plan is. They seemingly just... I don't know. This is not skirmishing, this is full-on pushing into my lines. Where are you going? <laughs> Where are you heading? Because there's nothing there. I know that I can make these guys run, but I would rather not. I would much rather have these guys just continue to move at a slow pace, so that I have my condition at 100, and that way when I actually need it, I can have it at my disposal. We've got more skirmishers here. Hold on, there's a whole load of them. Uh, prepare for battle the opposite side. Jeez, we're getting skirmishers all over the place here, including behind me. Militia, off you go. 
pushing over there. Monro Jeez, there's more behind me. Hold on a moment. So, we have skirmishers over here. Whose morale seems broken. They're wavering. Over here, we're getting engaged with... Uh, this is skip with. And these skirmishers seem to be on the run. At least falling back to potentially a greater distance. Hodgkins and Pike can engage these skirmishers. I want these guys also engaging. I'm going to tell them to run. Uh, we've got skirmishers over there and over there. Madison and Scott. I want you guys to engage these skirmishers. In the meanwhile, we're going to have Sylvester, uh, Vaughn and Polk engage these. My other skirmishers can attack those guys from behind. And these skirmishers can hold, more or less hold the front line here. If there is anything as a front line at this point. Because I have a lot of forces and they are all over the place. Um, oh, I thought I'd broken their morale, but not so much. Dearborn's losing some troops here. Oh, we're going man to man here. Right, that's hold. Yeah, now they're on the run. Very good. It means we can pull some of the other guys off the line and move forward. I just don't know if these guys are going to stay broken. Or if they're going to come back later. Box them in. Oh shit, you got guys coming up from behind you. More skirmishers. Some battle is going to be good for the spirits of the guys. Yeah, but this much? Okay, we've got more skirmishers broken here. Take aim and disable those guys. Wipe them out. Routing. Very good. The guys over here, well, I haven't seen them in a while. It means we can move there. I still have a long way to go. And I need to capture the crossroads, which are all the way somewhere over the horizon there. Ah, oh, shit, you guys are getting overwhelmed here. Move. I'm glad I had those troop ships here. Cushing, this way. Madison, Campbell, Scott. Take out those skirmishers. Because they keep executing a few of my guys every now and then, and then run off. So they're exactly doing as skirmishers were intended to be used, I suppose. Marines, forward. Rest of the guys, forward. Are we concealed? Huh. Oh, here they come again. Two sections now. Run. Keep running. You guys can just march. This is charge, or... Oh, this is detached skirmishers. Yeah, I don't need to do that. Prepare a firing line there. I don't like these guys attacking the rear. Yeah, rear flanked. Exactly. It's not just me who doesn't like it. My guys don't like it either. Damn, they're still here. At this point, I should have a numerical superiority over here. Line up. How the hell am I going to build a thumbnail out of this? Can we just charge them? We're going to wipe out these skirmishers once and for all. Fix bayonets and charge. Drive them into the sea. Route. Yeah, well, not anymore, you're not. Skirmishers has shattered. Okay, they're done. Very good. That means we can make our way over there. How's that skirmishing group on the back? These guys are still getting a rear flanked warning. Cushing, move. You know what? These guys are going to have to just run for it. 
Oh fuck, there's a whole lot more. That's the warning. Skip with. Double time. Move. Go. Scott. Eliminate. What's the condition of these skirmishers? How long do they have to keep this up? Keep moving forward. Charge. I just hope that they're not going to be running away too fast, because I might not have the stamina to keep up on this group. Yep, they keep running away. Eliminated a few more skirmishers there. Look at that, there's bodies all over the place. Oh, that's a large group of skirmishers. Pike, Hodgkins, militias, move. Fusiliers and the Marines are engaging. Oh, there's the crossroads. Good, we can get there pretty quick. Skirmishers, move. Set up the Marines there. Fusiliers that way. Field artillery that way. All of you, move. Get it again! Get it again! Rear's flanked, yep. They're probably not going to like that. Their condition is 99%. We can keep up with them, probably. Just run. Because if I can once again drive them into the sea, I can completely eliminate the group. Yeah, there we go. They keep moving back and forth. Arguably, they're not going to keep that up forever. Because they won't have the stamina for it. Execute charges. Monroe, that way. We've had 42 deaths on this group already. That's not good. Uh, Richards, I need you to come back. We're going to try and pincer these guys. Skipwith is holding the stern, or the stern. He's holding the back of the line so far. Let's hope they can keep that up. Uh, Campbell has also had quite a few deaths. Fawn, take those out. Are these guys... No, here. Uh, I want you to engage these. There's a few of them left. I think this is the bigger threat. We're going to have Pike set up here. Secured crossroads. Very good. Contested crossroads. We're not alone, are we? No, we are not. we got a supply group over there. Push into them. Fusiliers, Marines, move up. Skirmishers. Field artillery, move up. The rest of you, just keep going. A situation here. These skirmishers are going to run themselves into the ground at this point. Secure at the crossroads. Excellent. Move. We can have the militia run for a bit. I'm not sure what your plan is, but they once again start coming at me. Yeah, they're getting broken. They're probably tired, and on top of that, they've lost a lot of troops. Oh, shit. You guys are going to have to move quick. Because <sighs> Campbell is about to be wiped out. I think that's an officer from the Chesapeake. Route. That's what I wanted to see. Off you go. Richards. Halt the stern. Halt at the back of the line for now. Skip with. See if you can move up and intercept them. Campbell has scattered. That's what I was worried about. I'm going to have to set up some uh, outward facing defensive lines here. 
Otherwise, I might not be able to hold these guys. Here, what do these skirmishers want? And another group. Good lord, there's a lot of them. Charge. Charge. Ah, we got it? We got it. We've only seen light troops attacking us. No doubt that the real battle is yet to start. We need to take positions and be prepared to uh, repel a stronger force. Right. We need to contest the crossroads for 126. Okay. That's going to be a while then. Um, time to set up some lines. High ground, ideally. Sailors over there. Skirmishers moving forward. These skirmishers can attack. Try to box them in. Buchanan, that way. Artillery, uh, set up over here. Dooley, Foy, Jones, Dearborn, more sailors. A situation over here. Still got 26 skirmishers over there. 24 now, 23. They're out of ammo. Shit, their supply is really low. I need to get that supply company over there. Oh, crap. There's more skirmishers. You're going to have to run. Get out of here. I'll see if I can relocate some of the sailors to assist. But it's going to get pretty tight. I'm not sure how many guys I've lost overall, but it's probably not great. I'm going to try and set up a line to deal with these skirmishers. Militia here. Jeez, that's another large group of skirmishers. Here's the supply group. Was it you guys that needed ammo? Yeah, okay, you can hold. We're gonna move to here, move to here. These skirmishers are almost done. Hodgkins seems to be winning that encounter, but there's another 78 moving about. They just keep moving. They keep harassing. Situation here. More skirmishers, of course. As one does. Fusiliers. Yeah. They didn't like that treatment. Artillery is also using fire. Very good. Now, Marines. I got a couple of skirmishers coming your way. We need to contest it for another in-game hour. These guys are scattered. Sorry, shatter, shattered, not scattered. Shattered. You guys have been resupplied. So have you. You guys are getting resupplied. Come on. Officer Cadet Experience Dawes is wounded. Okay. Well, that sucks, but it's not like I have a first aid kit or a, a field hospital or whatever. Oh, hold on a moment. So they're executing a charge. Buchanan cannot win that. We're going to have to reorient some of our groups and make sure that they get support, because that's a lot of guys. The cannons are moving to turn and trying to assist, but it's a bit busy. At the same time, though, I can just shoot in any general direction and I will hit them. They're routing. They're encountering... Oh, jeez, there's another group of Mamelukes. Damn. Contest for another 50 minutes. 
yet more skirmishers. I need to start focusing a lot more forces around the crossroads. Incoming broken skirmishers. Skip with, move. No, that's all of them. We've got no stay behinds here. Sailors. Get a move on. You're executing a melee attack. Yeah, it looks like. Charge. Friendly fire. Cease friendly fire, please. Friendly fire isn't. I've got another group of skirmishers, but they've been shattered. These skirmishers are about to get shattered at this rate. Sailors, form up. Militia, engage. Fire into their sides. Fusiliers, engage the marines. Because we do not have the numbers. Well, we kind of have the numbers here. But I'm hoping that the, um, the artillery is going to make all the difference here. Militia, cover this side. Run. What I find a little less than useful is that if I press R, it not only forces my guys to run, but it also makes it so that the camera turns. That's a little weird. Okay, they're routing. Got a militia group over there. I'm gonna have Foy take a secondary position. Fusiliers engage the Mamelukes. Incoming artillery fire. Exact origins unknown. Let's have a look. These militia are dealing with more skirmishers. Over here. We still have a lot of sailors that I can make move. Go. Madison, Scott, Vaughn. More marines. Oh, you got your artillery right here? Oh shit, there go the sailors. Uh, run, gentlemen. Marines are about to break. There they go. How are my marines doing here? Good. Okay, you guys assist here. I want Dearborn to go after the artillery there. Run as you're doing that. You got the condition. You should be good enough to go. Let's see if we can pincer these. We're going to have the supply company try and support the artillery. Skirmishers that way, militia this way. I don't know why that artillery is so close. I would expect it to be a bit farther away. But for some reason they're still sticking around here. I don't have the numbers here. Skirmishers, I need you to assist marines as well. Run. Are they executing a... No, they're not charging yet. But I'm trying to flank the marines here and break their morale. Militia, you outnumber the marines 3 to 1. Make it count. There's another supply group. Holding the crossroads for another 30 minutes. The fusiliers are broken? What the hell happened there? Should I charge the marines? Probably not. Skirmishers, I have something else for you to do. I need you to go after the artillery units. Uh, we still got some more skirmishers here, because of course we do. Set up a perimeter here and here. Dearborn that way, Hodgkins that way, more sailors. Vaughn, Sylvester, Scott, move. Our skirmishers are breaking. Here's the artillery. Ooh. <laughs> they just took a artillery hit. And because of that, they just lost, I think, 40, 50, 60% of their morale. Let's see if I can charge. 
Nope. They're breaking. Crap. Charge. There's not a lot of those marines left. We should be able to make this work. Sailors and Wilcox, move. We're going... What? Why did these marines shatter? What happened to you guys? Why did your morale get broken like that? Your marines. Come on. Start acting like it. Skirmishers are running. I get that. The Mamelukes are falling back. We got these Fusiliers who I can throw into the fight. Still skirmishers behind me. These are holding the back of the line. No, you're not. There's two more artillery sections over there. Sailors, I got a job for you. Marines, stop running! Exhausted, yeah. I hope they start recovering the morale pretty quick, because they got another group of marines coming in. Artillery shattered, skirmishes shattered. As long as it's theirs, good. These sailors cannot hope to win this. Friendly fire on my own sailors now. More of their wounded marines are over there. Good shot. Artillery we almost had them there. Jeez, more Mamelukes. Sixteen minutes. I wonder how many guys have lost overall, because it's not going to be pretty. Charge. Wipe them out before they're able to get... Exactly. All sorts of good artillery shots on us, and wipe us out. Charge, Marines. Get rid of their Marines and their artillery. You cannot charge? How's that? What are you firing with? Sea service musket. They're not supposed to do melee. Some of my crews are set up to do it, some are not. These are the ones that are not. 13 minutes left. There's still an artillery unit behind me there. We're gonna fall back. Do I have anybody else who can assist? Yeah, the artillery units. Skirmishers has shattered. Finally. Skip with has won. Deal with the arty. We just have a ton of, uh, ton of marines over there that I cannot deal with. Sailors. Run, gentlemen. The artillery is the one that keeps doing me in because they're the ones that are very, very capable of blowing your morale to bits almost instantly. Stop. Better defense. I should have done that a long time ago. Oh, they're out of ammo. Or at least low. Uh, supply company. Move. Here. Hold. We're gonna see if we can dig in here. First Lieutenant experience, Bartolomeo is killed. Marines is shattered. Very good. We need to hold it for another five, six minutes. That's enough. But good lord, it feels like I lost half my crew here. Damn it. Charge the artillery. Where we're going, we don't need ammo. Come on. That should wipe out one of the artillery groups. Commodore Philemon Sylvester is wounded. Yeah, well, tough. We need to hold for another three minutes. These militia units are completely out of ammo. Great. Dig in. Supply. Release crew. No, 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 no. 
I should have used that hold order. I didn't even know that was a thing. That was not, from what I recall anyway, part of the tutorial. One more minute and we have him. Capture the crossroads. Confirmed. Mission accomplished. Or at least obje objective accomplished. Not necessarily the mission. Why is this thing not completing? Because I got my mission done. But it feels like the game still wants me to, to do something else. Oh right, you guys were out of ammo. Supply group here, please. We're going to take care of that artillery once and for all over there. Mamelukes are getting battered by the artillery. Cushing, Richards, prepare to engage the Marines. Madison, we're going to try and flank. We still have 221 Mamelukes over there. And unfortunately, I don't quite have the numbers. Emil Wilcox is killed. Shit. He's probably going to break their morale. Oh dear. You got a lot of company there. Counter charge. Marines, sailors, we need to make something work here. Skirmishers have shattered. Lovely. Vaughn, can you take care of this artillery, maybe? Marines are not doing very well. They're routing. Okay, these Marines have most of their morale back. Fusiliers, you guys were going to go and engage the uh, artillery there. Take care of these if you can. Get supply group over here. If I can't find the Artie, I'll flank the Mamelukes. You guys are almost out of ammo. There they are. Have at him. Surprise. Artillery has shattered. Is that that one? No, it's a different one. It's this one. The one that Vaughn engaged. Well done, Vaughn. Uh, this is problematic. Like that. Run to your new position. I need you to dig in. Supply group here. We're going to need to resupply Sylvester. Have they left? No, they have not left. Damn it! They fire twice and my fusiliers just break? Fuck. Oh, you need ammo. Oh, holy shit, there's a whole lot more of them. Marines are running out of ammo. Some of the Mamelukes are coming back for round two. Fusiliers, I can still get back. Just gonna take me a while to get them back on their feet. Morale on these is gonna go pretty bad pretty soon. I feel like we have most of the enemy controlled here, but this is the problematic area. Skip with. Sailors. Monroe. We cannot have you guys hiding behind the artillery. I refuse to accept that. Dig in. Marines to here. Sailors to there. Dig in. We are staying here. Can you guys not dig in? Guess not. Where's my supply group? Seriously, where is my supply group? Here. They're hiding. There. Ten minutes left on this fight. 
I guess the objective is not just to capture the crossroads, but also to hold the crossroads. Okay, Fusiliers are coming back. Mamelukes are retreating. Hold. Dig in. Mamelukes has shattered. Good. Considering the massive amount of corpses over there, I'm not surprised. Charge. Skirmishers charge. Militia charge. Ceasefire. Cushing has shattered. The Marines have shattered. There's more Mamelukes coming in. That is something you're actually allowed to fire at. Uh, like this, please. What the hell? Like that? What? There. <laughs> you, 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 and you. We're going to set up a line like that. Get there double time. Artillery still has enough supply. And we're trying to resupply the marines here. Dig in, marines. Mamelukes are routing. Time left, four minutes. The Fusiliers are... <laughs> once again on the run. <laughs> Come on. Ugh. Kills and deaths are fairly even here. Vaughn, fall back. Madison over there. Sailors here. Two minutes. Routing. Get out of here. How many Marines did I start with? Jesus. Kills 171. Deaths 121. There's 44 of the guys left. That is not a whole lot. Time is up. We should win the mission now. There we go. You can finish the mission or continue your fight. I'm going to finish that. Um, army strength. 1,071. And... I lost 464. They lost 2,541 out of the 3,316 that they sent in. I'm not quite sure if this is accurate, because I also sent in crew, and I have a lot of crew casualties. So sure enough, on the army side, I did quite alright, but I lost a lot of sailors, and crew members as a whole. That was a hellish march, but it did give me 100,000 in cash. So, uh, we now need to hire new officers, because quite a few of them died. What we could do with is um, a good captain. That is going to work with boarding and efficiency. So a high efficiency score is much appreciated. Uh, Edward Winterbottom. That's new captain. We're going to have the officer in command of sailing. Jadida Millam. And an officer in command of boarding. Uh, I'm not going to do a lot of boarding. Am I? Yeah, it, well, sort of. This is the United States, one of my frigates. Which I had mostly set up just as a gunboat. Just as a damage dealer. So sailing is going to be important. Boarding... Less so. So we're just going to go with a cheaper guy here. James Norton. And we're going to get a whole lot more crew. There we go. Alright. Chesapeake. Officer. Um, you're the same type of ship. So a good sailing officer would be helpful. A good... Oh, sorry, that's the efficiency. Uh, more crew. We're also going to go with a boarding officer... More as an afterthought. Jim Cox, midshipman. The New Amsterdam also lost her captain. That's unfortunate because it just got that guy. Oh, the ratings here are pretty bad. i got to be more careful with my officers and especially my captains because they don't exactly seem to be widely available. Uh, sailing officer. And what are you again? You are in charge of gunnery. Okay. High score is important here. Optimal. 
Oof. Look at the Trenton. The Trenton and the Arctic are my troop ships. I had a whole lot of marines here, but a whole bunch of them died. Upgrade. Uh, I'll take more marines if I can. And this is getting pretty expensive, seriously. That's the Trenton, right? Yeah, they need an officer. Um, Benaja Morton. You're getting the long land rifle. Muzzle-loaded smoothbore flintlock of ancient design. <laughs> Suitable for hunters, primitive tribes. Sure. Uh, we're going to go with something far more advanced. These marines are more likely going to be dealing with infantry. So I'd say um, infantry musket. And I still have a load of those available in the shop. I'm mostly looking at the price, thinking more expensive is probably better. So let's go with these. Upgrade. What are you guys firing? Okay, some of these have the bayonets, some of these do not. Uh, that's the supply company. Resupply those. Get all the supply amount back up. These are the Fusiliers. We're about to run out of officers here. The Enterprise is okay. The Essex is okay. I have 57,000. I suppose I could get a new ship. If I want to. The Admiralty has a... Oh. Ah, the ships are not that good. Not really that good. So I suppose we could do another one of the off-screen site missions. And have a look at uh, what those are going to yield. Oh, and I also got career points, of course. Yes. Career points, eight. Uh, what do we spend that on? Survival. Wounded officers are more likely to survive. That should save me quite a bit. Because last time around on that that horrible land march, it didn't quite go that well. Hiring officer or hiring officers. No, I suppose that this should counter that. Shipbuilding. Repair cost is reduced in port. Yeah, I'll, ins I'll invest in that. Um, then we have the advanced tree. Coronet Age Ship Defense. Yeah, but I'd rather have Coronet Age Guns. What do I need for that? Uh, field artillery operations? No. Prussian weapons. Industry. Ah, 18 pounder. And Coronets. I'll take that. We're going to research that. And we're going to see if one of those ships can now field those things. Let's say it's going to be one of my lighter, faster ships, like the Enterprise. Can we field Coronad guns, or am I missing something? Coronad! New cannon type, designed for close-in battle. Devastating to the enemy at short range, useless at longer ranges. Its short barrel results in shorter range, less accuracy, and poor armor penetration, but it requires less crew and has lower weight. I'm putting this on... Actually, no, the Essex. This was my uh, my boarding ship. You're going to get those things. You're going to get an upgrade to the Coronad. Uh, we got 24 pounders. That's going to be heavy, isn't it? No, they're lighter, actually. Damage 14. Damage 5. Whoa! Biggest gun we can find. The 24 Karen Foundry Coronade. Carronade. Carronade? Gun. Um, upgrade that. And these are also going to be the bigger guns. Can we fit the 24 pounders here as well? God damn, this thing is going to have a lot of firepower. Let's make it as light as possible. Gun cannon weight lower even. And... Um, we can improve their damage even more. Improve shot efficiency, but increases the risk of premature powder ignition. Oh. What's reload like? 91 seconds. So we can shave off another 9 seconds there. Let's do that. Oh, I'm eager to try out the Essex now. She has a ton of firepower. Right. 
Um, I'm going to do that, just not now. We're going to do that in the next episode. For now, I need to rename the Anthony to the USS Anthony. And, well, that should do it. So, join me next time, which should be soon. We're going to have a look at uh, see how the Essex will perform. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the land battle. Hope it wasn't too terrible. And I'll see you soon for another episode.